Presenting Finger Puppet Management Final Presentation by the Pilgrim People, which consists of David, Fallon, Corey, Noel, and Lauren. This television production is the story about John Smith and the Pilgrims' journey to Jamestown in order to develop their very first settlement in the Americas. We hope this television production helps business students to grasp a complete knowledge and understanding of the management concepts demonstrated. Not only business students, but also helps the growth of management concepts for anyone who wants a basic understanding of management skills one should have. During our journey through this semester, we learned a great variety of diverse and important management concepts. We chose to demonstrate management concepts such as decision making, organizational structure, planning, ethics, communication, motivation, and leadership. The story is meant to be fun for the audience, but also to teach them the importance of proper management through our storyline. We hope to have students to establish their ability to understand these management concepts demonstrated. This television production allows students to see a real-life experience that can occur in a workplace. This television show is a realistic way to handle problems through a proper and intelligent way through the use of managerial skills. Our first character is John Smith. John Smith is young, ambitious, courageous leader of the Virginia colonists. He has the final say in the decision making in Jamestown. He has an abundance of survival skills and the ability to direct resources to help expand the colony. He is a great negotiator and has created strategic alliances with some of the tribes nearby, so they are able to put their strengths together. Next, we have John Rolfe, who was the most successful farmer of Jamestown and was the first to successfully grow tobacco in the Americas. John marries Pocahontas and helps John Smith to redirect resources towards certain parts of the colony. He has great interpersonal skills and is well liked by all. He enjoys playing the devil's advocate with John and Powhatan Chief, which helps him make better decisions for the tribe. Next for characters, we have Chief Powhatan, who is the father of Pocahontas and a wise and peaceful leader of the Powhatan Native American tribe. He makes the decisions for the entire tribe and has a strategic vision. He is a planner, so he always keeps track of all the tribe's resources and teaches the pilgrims how to farm. He always keeps the tribe's needs ahead of his own. Finally, we have Pocahontas, the daughter of the Powhatan chief and wife of John Rock. She is bright and always willing to contribute to decisions made by the colony. She uses strategic planning to help the colonists create a strong, big future for the colony. Episode 2 is based on the concept of organizational structure. John Smith encounters a woman while going hunting, which turns out to be Pocahontas, the daughter of Chief Powhatan. After this occurrence, Chief Powhatan and his tribe enter John Smith and the Pilgrim's campground. Chief Powhatan orders John that he must follow him in his orders. Chief Powhatan gave John Smith and the Pilgrims an organizational chart to follow and assigned them in an organizational structure. After this process took place for a while, the Pilgrims and Indians began to live as one. Due to John Smith's great managerial skills he demonstrated, Chief Powhatan asked John Smith to help him lead the colony in order to develop a flourishing society. John Smith was honored and led their colony with established values, goals, and rules. The managerial concepts demonstrated within this episode concentrates how organizational structure improves constructed organizations for the better. During the beginning of this television production, the colony was having difficult struggles trying to adapt to their new living conditions. The pilgrims were able to learn the way of the land by integrating and cooperating with the Indians. Their coexisting allowed them to mutually help each other and learn together as one. The development of an organizational structure was a huge advantage to the colony. It allowed the pilgrims and Indians to divide their work equally, which allowed the colony to work effectively and efficiently. When this episode came to an end, both John Smith and Chief Powhatan were leading the colony together, which enabled the creation of mutual goals, values, and rules, which led the colony to flourish. This episode shows the audience how managerial concepts are a necessity through the demonstration of organizational structure. Episode 5 concentrates on the importance of communication within a work setting. John Smith has taken control as the leader of the colony. He directs downward communication to the workers below him. 
This includes Pocahontas and John Rolfe, as well as the other pilgrims. This form of communication allows workers to accomplish their objectives by having John Smith communicate his directions and decisions. After a while has passed, Pocahontas starts to become tired of constantly following John Smith's orders. Due to this, she begins to take her work not as seriously as she should be. John Smith starts to notice that Pocahontas is slacking off. John Smith gets angered and yells at Pocahontas in front of the entire colony. This made Pocahontas even more upset and starts to do even less work than she had been. This enables John Smith to see that he had made a mistake while dealing with the situation. In order to fix it, he knew he had to talk to Pocahontas afterwards. During their conversation, he conveyed empathy while observing her nonverbal cues while he listened to her opinions the entire time. This showed Pocahontas that he cared and was willing to make compromises with her. This experience allowed John Smith to improve his communication skills while developing a relationship with one of his workers, which enhanced the colony for the better. The managerial concepts within Episode 5 concentrate on the key role that communication has while managing individuals within an organization. John Smith's actions at first conveyed terrible communication skills that should not be used within a workplace. After his mistake, he learned that communication plays a big part within an industry, especially to the workers. Within this episode, he learned that conveying empathy and positive reinforcement helps an organization work better as a whole. He realizes that these characteristics are what a good manager should possess. Sharing empathy with fellow workers enables workers to feel a relationship and will help the company reach success. The managerial skill allows workers to feel comfortable expressing feedback and opinions. General Conclusions on Management We hope that our audience can get more out of this project than just work-related situations. We hope that the audience will be able to apply the management concepts and skills we've touched upon on their everyday lives. As a group, we created a situation where a colony was being built, which enabled the characters to apply general management concepts. Our characters evolved while using management skills and qualities as the television show progressed. Throughout this project, we have grasped a better understanding of these important management concepts, which will help us succeed in our future careers. Group Reflection This class has taught us the significance of communication, especially while taking an online class. Due to the fact that this class is 100% online, makes the project more difficult than it would be in a classroom setting. We had a quick understanding on how communication will be the key to our success in this project. This class gave us the chance to learn great management concepts and skills that we will all be able to use within our future careers. This class was a great opportunity for all of us to work together as a team and create friendships. We love this class and we agree that every business student should take part of this class to better their management skills. Reflection by David. Until taking this class, I had no clue that there was so much to learn about management. This class taught me many concepts that I will use throughout the rest of my career. At first, I didn't like the writing logs, but I now realize how much they helped me learn the material. Also, I liked working in groups because we were forced to use some of those concepts to work together and complete tasks. I think that this class is very important and would recommend it to any one of any major. Reflection by Fallon. This class has taught me a ton of management concepts, which I had no idea about before. I didn't only learn these concepts, but I learned how to properly understand and execute these concepts. This class was very beneficial to me due to the fact that I'm working on a management degree. The weekly writing logs were tough, but necessary to comprehend the material. They gave me an opportunity to connect management concepts to my life, which was very helpful in the long run. Not only was this class knowledgeable, but it was also a lot of fun to be a part of. I would definitely recommend this class to any student. Reflection by Cord. Before starting this class, I did have some management experience. I always considered myself to be a pretty solid at it. After taking this class, I realized that I had so much more to learn about effective management. I never knew it could be this in depth. The knowledge that I've learned from this class will stick with me throughout my professional career. I feel like writing logs really made the material stick in my head more. Even though I don't enjoy homework, I feel like this information will help me excel in many situations. I would recommend this class to anyone I know who would be interested in becoming better at math.
Reflection by Noel. Before starting class, I was a little intimidated by the syllabus and the amount of work that we were going to do. I was also a little worried about the group projects because I have been in some unperforming groups in the past. At this point of the class, I can definitely say that this class is not as intimidating as I thought it was going to be. The people in my group are very smart, productive, and organized individuals that constantly produce great work. I am very fortunate to have such an amazing group. Although this class is content heavy, I have certainly learned a lot thus far and have been able to apply the information I have learned at my job. I would definitely recommend this class to other students who are interested in becoming better managers. Reflection by Lauren. When I first read the syllabus for this class, I was completely overwhelmed with all the work that we were assigned to do. At this point in the semester, I look back at that moment and thank myself for the group I was assigned. The overwhelming feeling I first felt in the beginning of the semester was completely taken away the moment I witnessed how efficiently my group broke down the work, assigned roles, and successfully communicated to and from. My group has turned in all assignments in a timely manner, and we've gotten great grades in return. When guidance is needed, my group is always there to help. This class has taught me so much more than management, and I thank my team for that. Recommendations for future students. Our biggest recommendation for future students of this class is to understand the importance of communication. It can definitely be easy to fall behind on work due to this class being online. We suggest if you have the opportunity to take this class in person. On the other hand, if you have a busy schedule, taking this class online is very beneficial. We used the app GroupMe, which allowed all of us to stay in contact and constant communication with each other. We also recommend to not be afraid to be creative while creating this project. By being creative, it will allow your television production to flourish while having fun. Make sure that you stay involved and committed so you can get the most out of this class.